welcome to the Single Dad's Cookbook Christmas Specials. Welcome to the second episode in the Single Dad's Cookbook Christmas Specials. And in this episode, we're going to make Chicken Wellington. So this is my take on the traditional beef wellington that can be um, adorn quite a few dinner tables on Christmas Day and this is my my version of it um, using chicken breast these can be done individually you'll actually see that this this chicken this would probably feed two people um, so again if you're watching a budget but you want something fancy a bit of a showstopper um, and you can add extra bits to this you could wrap it in bacon which probably um, would be a good idea it just gives it an extra hold and again you, you can take your time and make it way more fancier than what I do um, if this is your first time watching the video or any of my videos welcome to the channel if you can please hit that like button um, and subscribe it means the world to me so you can see here I've just trimmed the chicken and I'm actually patting it down with a paper towel just to try and remove any excess moisture because it's going into pastry um, so give your give yourself a bit of a clean up and then what we're going to do is we're going to just fillet this um, open now you want it to remain in one part so as you're going if you just keep slicing it I am not a professional chef folks I don't claim to be um, I'm just a, a single parent who likes to do a bit of cooking so you can see there I've butterflied it open and then what I'm going to do next is I'm going to flatten it just so it makes it a bit easier to to roll and again, I don't have fancy equipment. If you've got a meat mallet, use that. Get it flat. I've just got a bit of tin foil that I'm going to put over the top. And I'm going to just grab one of the tins that's in the cupboard. And I'm just going to give it a good old bash. Again, this is cooking on the simplest of levels. Okay. While I'm giving that a bash to flatten it out, I just wanted to say um, we got a... I mentioned all the way from Ontario um, and uh, again it does I say it every video it blows my brain honestly it blows my mind that you guys are watching from all over the world and it means the world to me so I've got these stuffing balls again shop bought nothing fancy you can if you want make your own and you can you can go to that um, extra little bit of hassle or pressure I'm just using shop bought ones and I'm going to roll it right down the middle then I'm just going to fold it over and wrap it all up nice and easy make sure it's all wrapped and at this point this is where you could wrap it in bacon um, and actually wrap it in bacon um, wrap it in cling foil make it more cylindrical it probably would make be a good shout but I've not done that um, hindsight is a wonderful thing what I am going to do though is I am just going to salt and pepper the top just to give it a little bit of flavour into there um, so as we do that and I hope you are all looking forward to Christmas um, this year is going to be a little bit weird right across the world I think with um, the price of things and remember it's about spending time with people It's it's not about who gets the biggest gift even if it's a little homemade box of chocolates or anything like that remember it's it's about the thought it's always been about the thought I, I, I think that gets lost in translation especially nowadays um, where it was always who wants the biggest flashiest gift and, it, and trust me if I could go back and sit with people that I've, I've passed that's that's the times that you remember not what they bought you so just please remember that um, now getting cranberry sauce out and giving it a bit of a um, getting it all over the chicken so again you've got that little extra dimension in there now with this 
I've only put it on the top and there's a reason for that okay because on the puff pastry I'm actually going to put it on the puff pastry as well now I've given everything a clean up and I'm going to put the chicken on here and you can trust me you'll find a much better way of wrapping it and this is where like I said wrapping it in bacon would have come in handy so it sort of holds a little bit tighter now what's really funny is I'm going to wrap this like a burrito so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tuck in both ends um, and that way it, it just holds but before I do that like I said I'm just going to give the whole thing a little covering in the cranberry sauce so you've got the cranberry all the way round the chicken you do need to be careful of um, how wet you make the the insides of this because the chicken will obviously release juices um, so you can um, you've got to sort of compensate that as much as you can so here we go let's fold the top fold the bottom like a burrito like I said and then just wrap it round fold it up give it a bit of a tuck in again just keep tucking it as you go and then fold it again don't be scared of it and there you have it you'll be able to tidy up the edges and again if you leave it a bit better you could crimp it at the ends you, you can make it fancy um, as with many of my dishes nothing's that fancy so on here that's it nice and done nice little burrito chicken parcel we've got our egg wash we're going to give it a, a good old coating an egg wash all over to make sure the pastry comes out nice and golden brown and crispy on the outside and once you've done that you want to just give it a couple of um, whole pokes with, with a sharp knife so that any steam that's building up in there does actually get released so the, the, the pastry does stay crispy and one last little tip for keeping crispy pastry is from a height a little bit of salt over the top of it so and then that's it so like I said here we're going to give it a couple of holes just through the pastry just to make sure that any steam does get released folks this is um, I've got the oven on at 180 degrees um, Celsius that's an, uh, a fan assisted oven so you need to do that accordingly um, and I've cooked it for about 40 45 minutes you've obviously got chicken in there you've got uh, a pork product in there if you put the, uh, the bacon in you've got another pork product in there so you've just got to be careful that you the last thing you want is um, to be a little bit ill on Christmas Day but you can see the heat coming out of that the outside's nice and crispy it's cooked to perfection we're going to cut this bad boy open and show you what it looks like in the middle but that is my chicken wellington um, you guys will be able to make it way fancier than I do but as a starting base as something a bit different for Christmas this is the starting point to go for I really hope you are all looking after yourselves out there and each other um, I hope you're looking forward to Christmas and like I say remember it's all about the thought it's about you being there and being in the moment not so much the gifts from my family to yours thanks for watching Till the next time, Single Dad signing off.